on classical Japan during the Nara and the Heian periods. The Nara came before the Heian, starting in 710 and ending around 794. They didn't so much as fall, more as transition into the Heian period. The Nara were located in the mountainous regions of modern day Japan, on the inner or the <laughs> coastal regions of Japan. The civilization developed there to avoid the mountains in the middle so that they could easily trade with other societies. The Nara, were the Nara and the Hain were located in this area. There is still a city today called Nara. And the Nara stayed on the coast to avoid mountains such as these towards the inside. That allowed for easier trade and a better economy. The political aspects of the Nara. One clan gained all imperial rule, and they established a Chinese-style bureaucracy. They also took the equal field system from the Chinese. They also had an elaborate court. This is an example of the Nara capital, which is very much styled after the Chinese capital, China. Significant economic activity occurred during the Nara period. Roads linking the provincial capitals provided easier trade for societies outside of the Nara, and routine and efficient tax collection also helped to boost the economy. Minted coins also helped to regulate the systems of trade, and although there was little activity outside the Nara, it also boosted the economy because the economy was simply inside the Nara, and it provided a closed system. These are some coins that the Nara used during their trading processes. Nara social. It was a very patriarchal society. Women who were not beautiful were considered to have bad or dirty souls. To be considered beautiful, you had to have very pale face, large eyebrows, and very red lips. Your, your hair had to be almost as long as you were tall, and you had to wear at least 12 layers of robes. The artistic aspects of the Nara were that there were two main classes, and they were the aristocrats and the peasants. So the artists were paid about as much as the peasants. They weren't respected very much. This is a beautiful example of Chinese, or, I'm sorry, Japanese calligraphy, very similar to the Chinese. This is an example of Japanese pottery that was established during the period. This is an example of the beautiful Japanese style painting that showed daily life of the Japanese. Nara religious. They supported Confucianism, Buddhism, and Shinto. And they kind of mixed the Buddhism and Shinto into one religion where they venerated their ancestors, yes, and they followed the Buddhist teachings, but they also believed in nature spirits and deities. Moving on to the Heian period, the Japanese emperors rarely ruled. Instead, they acted more as mouthpieces for the aristocrats of the Heian period. The aristocrats used the government for their own personal gain, so they would increase the taxes for the poor and decrease the taxes for the rich. They also also, the military often fought over power with the aristocrats. The social aspect of the Hain is very similar to the Nara. Aristocratic clans still ruled, and there were mostly two classes, the aristocrats and the peasants. The peasants were fairly well respected, though, because of that, the fact that they fed the entire society, but they were still paid very little. Uh, women's status during the Heian period was still very, very patriarchal. Women rarely received formal education, but because they could only speak Japanese, they made the most notable contributions to Japanese literature. As you can see, some classic Chinese women going about their daily lives. The arts in the Heian period. Um, their literature very much imitated the Chinese. They used many Chinese models and often wrote in Chinese. Poems were often written on painted fans, as you can see. The 
palaces and gardens of the higher period were absolutely beautiful. The aristocrats enjoyed living the refined life because they could gain all the money that the court collected from the peasants' taxes. The court life included access to complex palaces, lavish gardens, and extravagant fish ponds, which included koi and other beautiful Japanese plants and fish. The architecture of the Heian period reflected the Chinese greatly. The Shinden Zikuri is a style of architecture that flourished in the Heian period. As you can see here, the buildings of the Japanese often reflected the Chinese greatly, like this building here. It looks very similar to the Chinese buildings of the time. The economic design. Wealth was based on land, and since the aristocrats had very large estates, they were the wealthiest. And they also continued other economic processes of the time. And they forced the peasants to work there. That concludes our presentation.